So Dr. Haslam, why have you implemented precision genomics into your clinical practice? Well, I've implemented precision genomics for a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, it gives patients more options. Uh, you know, a lot of times when we have these patients with incurable malignancies, they run through the standard courses of treatment and it becomes really difficult to tell them that we don't have anything else for them, you right. know, especially when they're, they're doing okay and, and, uh, and, and want to continue to fight their disease. The second thing uh, that I like about it is that it gives us more information about the tumor in and of itself. It gives us a better idea of what they are going to respond to or what they're not going to respond to. It helps us to be able to avoid uh, different side effects if they're not going to respond to a drug um, and helps us get, get them on the right drug sooner. So with the different drugs, you also have clinical trials that are also implemented into the report as well. How do you implement that for your patients? Yeah, so it makes it more readily available for it to be at my fingertips to be able to say, hey, we have these clinical trials. It also tells us the, the different locations and uh, of where those trials are and how to access those clinical trials so that the, you know, there's one point of contact. So you have different options for your patients, different treatment options. And then obviously p your patients are living longer, they're happier, That's right. they have a better quality of life. That's right. Great. Yeah much more convenient for them. Great.